girls don't code because they have boobs. You know, girls don't code because they have eyelashes. You know, girls don't code uh, because they get their period. It doesn't really make sense, does it? We embed classrooms in technology companies like Facebook, Adobe, AT&T, Square, Pixar, and we teach 20 girls how to computer program over seven weeks. We will have reached 40,000 girls by the end of this year in all 50 states. I know a lot of people aren't used to seeing women in tech and might be doubtful that I even know what I'm doing, but that just gives me the extra motivation to prove them wrong. Being a girl does not limit what parts of computer science you're allowed to like and be good at. Part of teaching girls to code is also about teaching girls to learn how to fail and to not give up. We've created a society where girls are taught to be perfect and boys are taught to be brave. And this perfection, in many ways, I think, is really pushing girls away from fields where failure is such a key part. People will underestimate you, but if you view their criticisms as a challenge, and if you stay persistent, nothing will stop you. My girl code is sometimes you just gotta try it. I wanna feel like I've built a movement of young female coders that have made a difference in the world. I had two girls demo how they built a technical solution to lead poisoning because of what they saw happening in Flint, Michigan. Or they went to Nigeria and they saw that women don't have access to water and they want to build a technical solution to that. We see that girls want to use technology to solve problems that they're seeing in their community, in their country, and in their world. This generation of young women are amazing. We will close the gender gap in the next couple of years. We work here, we pay taxes here, we go to school here, we contribute to this country, and we are what makes this country great. Thank you for having me here.